Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Giselle Adams. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, December 4th, 2023. Hi, Patriots. Today in history, on December 4th, 1954, the first Burger King opened in Miami, Florida. Burger King is a fast food restaurant featuring mainly burgers. It's the second largest fast food hamburger chain in the world. The original name was Insta Burger King until the founder Keith J. Kramer changed it. Word got around and the restaurant was filled. What really made it popular was the Whopper that came out in 1957. This little restaurant is what led to the Burger Kings we now have all over the nation. Now let's go to Daniela for today's tasty lunch. And today's lunch is chicken nuggets, turkey and cheese deluxe hoagie, sweet potatoes waffle fries, cucumber, garden size salad, mandarin oranges, and your trays of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is egg and cheese breakfast, burrito, frosted corn flakes, graham crackers, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Students, please note that the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds delightful. Tomorrow, third and fourth graders will have their turn at the Patriot store. And don't forget that the store is only open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to manage your time to get there early. Tomorrow we will be jolly when we wear our festive holiday hats. Isn't it nice to show off your holiday swag? Patriots, keep your phone shut down in your backpacks at all times. And there will be no chewing gum in school. Please throw it out before entering the building. Tomorrow is our family night at Barnes & Noble. Reading books is so much fun and it's studious. Maybe at the event you may see one that catches your eye. Next Wednesday we will be playing bingo. It's a night event so make sure to get here by or before 6 p.m. I love a true challenge, don't you? Our challenge started from October 23rd and it ends January 19th. And your reward will be a pizza and popsicle party. Will you work for this incentive? On the 14th and 15th, you will be ecstatic when you arrive at our fun run with games, action, and a PS5. Just make sure your parents sign you up plus collect donations in order for you to join the party. This event is always so much fun. Friday the 15th from 6 to 9 p.m., we will deck the halls when we wear the ugliest sweaters in history. It costs $15 and includes a meal. And whoever has the ugliest sweater is crowned the cozy Christmas champion. So cool. Today, third graders have their fast reading and seventh graders will have their math NWA. And tomorrow, fourth graders will have their fast reading. Make sure to get some sleep. Our boys soccer has a game at Aces and it will be at 4 p.m. Also, they will have their last game of the season tomorrow at Jewish Academy, starting at 4 p.m. Now let's fill the breeze with Catherine. Thank you, Giselle. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's a good day to go to the beach. In other weather news, two dogs were rescued in Vietnam. In Vietnam, there was a recent flood, which caused the two dogs to get trapped. The first dog, a golden retriever, was swimming towards the boat. The second one, a German Shepherd, was stuck inside a house, so he couldn't swim towards the boat. Luckily, royal boaters found them. They had to free the German Shepherd while losing balance and get them to safety. Those are some brave boaters. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Thursday, our boys soccer team had a game against Jewish Academy. Sadly, we lost the game 0-3. The players who had the most overall performance was number 22, Daniel Depass, who played amazingly throughout the game, goalie Michael Norris, who had the countless saves, and number 9, Louis Brito, who almost scored a goal for the team. Even though we lost Patriots, it was a miraculous game to experience. We hope to see you all next time at the game. And today's birthday boys and girls are Isabella Cordero, Zayana Fanis, Tylan Jones, Penelope Rodriguez, Fabrizio Totuli, and our belated teacher birthdays are Ms. Vasquez and Ms. James. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Eli. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to 
Miss Nelson, Miss Arnold, Miss Merkel, Miss Cavalita, Miss Sands for getting the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was by U.S. law, exit signs must be one of what two colors? The correct answer was red or green. Today's daily challenge is daily challenge. How many colors were originally in the rainbow? Teachers. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a Merry Monday. Have a jolly day!